Okay, so number one thing I want to talk about is that today is today. And by that, I know, it sounds kind of dumb. <laughs> So today is Monday, April 16th, which is actually the day before this video is going to go up. The day of the Boston Marathon. Tons of things are happening. I, I've decided on some pretty big things that are going to totally kind of counteract going, sticking to the plan by any means. But the whole point here is this video is up to date. You know, I have videos recorded. I did workouts last week. I was gonna post those and do the whole staggering video things, but honestly, I just kinda got tired of that. It kinda kills my enthusiasm because I wanna like post things as they happen, you know? Uh, like I want it to be, um, and I want things to be more relevant. Like I wanna talk about the Boston Marathon because I was super hyped on that at work this morning and things like that. I just wanna be able to talk about things as they happen. And I think that as the way I was doing them, the only content that was relevant was the um, the continuity of the workouts as they happen. So that was great, but now I kind of just want each video to be a little bit more relevant to like the actual week I'm in. Now if you see a workout on Strava, you'll see a video about it that week. So this is a new thing I'm doing. I'm scrapping a lot of stuff that I've already filmed. That's gonna happen. I think you need to be able to do that and make those decisions if, you know, if you're, if you're gonna be, uh, it's gonna happen. I don't know. It's part of growing, I think. You don't have to stick to every plan and why keep doing things if they're not necessarily what is making you kind of happy while you do them. So I'm switching to be a little bit more relevant, a little bit more up to date, and I'll be, I think I'll be a little bit more excited about each video. That's number one. Number two, the Boston Marathon happened today. Now that's something I wanted to be able to talk about while it's still relevant. Um, you know, like, point in case, the weather was trash. Like, absolutely. I saw that Sage Canada dropped out at like his 18th mile. I mean, that's a statement. That dude is freaking fit as like hell. And like, I mean, he's one of the people that I know more about because I follow his YouTube channel religiously. But like, that that's just, that is a statement of how hard Boston was to run today. Um, and for being such an amazing, uh, prestigious, you know, one of the top marathons in the world, you train so long for it. And then something like, you know, the, the day wasn't right for people. The day was not, or you know, you weren't gonna break a record today. But, um, yeah, basically just super props to people who ran it. Really inspiring. I hope to at least complete that race one day. Yeah, so I was a little bit fired up on that. So, you know, like to anyone training for the Boston Marathon, if that's your goal, keep pushing for it. It's not necessarily my goal um, currently, but yeah, I was really inspired. It was really fun to listen to. Um, I couldn't watch it because I'm not in the Boston area. <clears throat> so maybe, uh, maybe get some national broadcasting on that next time, eh? Okay, so third topic is uh, I'm gonna run a marathon this weekend, trail marathon. Um, so I'm gonna go up to Elmstead Park and I'm gonna map out a 26.2 mile run and I'm gonna do it. I think I'm ready. Um, my training says I'm ready. I've done up to a 19 mile uh, trail run where I felt fine really at the end. Honestly, it was just time to, I what I had mapped out was over. So yeah, I'm gonna map it out, I'm gonna do it, which uh, is kind of big, but also, I mean, the point is, it kind of touches back into why I want these videos to be a little bit more up to date because I think the fact that I'm recording this, talking about it now, it's a little bit more present with when the video comes out. So I'm gonna run a marathon this weekend. And that's a really funny thing to say because my first video, I can remember sitting down in my apartment in Kansas City saying, let's run a marathon. Uh, you know, recording on my phone in, uh, like, in the dark basically. So yeah, big moment, crazy things, 100 plus videos later, I'm gonna run a marathon this Sunday, if all things permit. Um, so finally, I would just like to say um, there will not be, you know, a week at a recap of um, any sort of a long run from this last weekend or my workouts last week. You can go ahead and check my Strava. The link is in the description. It will always be in the description. Um, all the workouts I found a track to run on. You know, I, I, I did film at that, but again, I, I want to be more up to date. So we're scratching those things. You can go ahead and check the workouts. Like I said, they're on Strava. Um, so this, this Saturday's video um, that'll be coming out. So yeah, four days from now, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah, four days from now. That will essentially, I'm just gonna do a comprehensive how I'm preparing and planning for my trail marathon on Sunday up at Umstead. This is my first marathon, 26.2 miles. It's not a real, like it's not an organized race, but I'm doing it. And then, you know, I can 
check something off the list that I feel like I'm ready for. It's just things didn't work out in terms of timing and planning races. Um, yeah, and then you kind of, I think once we do that, I can kind of relax a little bit and look for things um, for the summer and for the fall. And, you know, keep growing on this whole running journey thing. So yeah, that was probably a little bit too long for my likings, but that's the video for today. Raw, me just sitting here telling you how it is. If you stuck with it, I really appreciate it. Um, if you've watched any number of these videos, I really appreciate it. Feel free to like, comment, or, or subscribe. Yeah, let me know what you thought of the Boston Marathon. Um, let me know if you actually got to, if, if you actually got to watch it. Um, I was listening to it uh, through the radio, through iHeartRadio, uh, while I was at work with my headphones in. Yeah, it was still really cool to watch. All the finishers, um, yeah, props. Anyone who showed up, to be honest, props. Um, plus it takes a lot to even get into it, so props even further. Maybe one day, maybe one day for me. But that sums things up. As always, ciao for now. Hope everyone's having a good old day out there. It's a beautiful day in North Carolina. By that I mean it's cloudy and about 60 degrees, but for me, that's a pretty perfect day. So yeah, pretty nervous. Okay, peace YouTube.